Well, only on Fox tonight, we're hearing from a Greenville woman who is in desperate need of a kidney. Now, she was diagnosed with kidney failure four years ago and placed on the transplant list um, almost a year ago. Now, she's asking anyone in the public for a kidney who might be willing to donate. Along with kidney failure, Yolanda Banks is battling other health issues. You saw Jarvis Robertson talking to her. He's back here in studio with me tonight. So, Jarvis, I can only imagine she's pretty desperate for this. Well, Cody, Yolanda Banks' life has taken a turn for what some would consider the worst. Now, she's currently on the transplant list for a kidney. Her expected wait time, eight years. But Yolanda has hopes that this story will be heard by someone that will be gracious enough to donate a kidney. Meet Yolanda Banks. She spends most of her time in this room watching television, all because the outside world is sometimes too much for her to bear emotionally. Back in 2015, she was diagnosed with kidney failure. It just got worse and worse and I was getting sicker and sicker, but now I'm on dialysis. Which she attends three times a week, hooked up to a machine at least three and a half hours each time. On a scale of one to 10, Yolanda describes the pain as an eight. Dialysis drained me so bad. If I'm not weak, I'm cramping, cause it, they might've pulled too much fluid. She says she was evaluated at Piedmont Hospital in Atlanta almost a year ago, and that's when they told her she needed a new kidney. Come to Atlanta. While she sits here waiting, her time isn't idle. Yolanda has taken the fight public. And I just been random people on Instagram, Facebook, like, do you know anybody that's willing to donate me a kidney? And I just been looking. Getting a new kidney is what she feels will restart her life. But until then, just got to live with it now. And moments of the past seem like a distant memory for her. I used to go bowling. We used to go shopping all the time. I don't do I don't do nothing no more. I used to be a CNA. A life once dedicated to taking care of others is now the one that needs to be taken care of. Kidney failure, high blood pressure, diabetes, like I'm just going down drain. Now, Yolanda is looking for a living donor who is blood type O. A person would have to be tested to see if they're a match before donating. She says her insurance company will pay for the entire operation. We'll have contact information posted in the Fox Carolina News app if you'd like to donate. Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news. Jarvis, thanks.